the back end and front end and the gist. And the last bit of it all is the more deeper administrative side, which has to do with the modules. For that, we actually go to the standard module manager. Before showing you the things that we have here, I want to click on the new button and show you the four module types that are available when you have K2 installed. There's the K2 comments module, which should be pretty self-explanatory. It's for organizing comments. The K2 content, which is essentially the display of items on steroids, the best way put. We're not using that here. Uh, we'll save that for another video that's shorter. The K2 login, which should speak for itself, and finally K2 tools, which is the most useful piece of K2 when it comes to adding little th tidbits to the sides of your site to enhance the content. Uh, the tag cloud is part of that. I'm not going to add it in, I'm actually going to go to our tag cloud, which is a K2 tools component, or sorry, K2 tools module, and open it. And the way that the K2 tools module behaves is controlled by a drop down that's available right inside the parameters. Uh, there are multiple display options, which you can learn more about from the documentation for K2 or from talking to us. But in this case, we're using the tag cloud functionality for the tag cloud that we want. And it has additional parameters in the bottom. We're also using a navigation system to kind of make the categories available to the user. And that's controlled by a menu type functionality with advanced management available within the parameters as well. You'll find that there's a section in blue available to for every item that's that's in the drop down. Having a grip on this kind of building and having a, a sort of understanding of how this behaves will make K2 a breeze to operate and a huge asset to your website. But as I mentioned earlier, it's it involves having to, to break away from the traditional development that we've been working with you on when we're using the standard Joomla pieces and adapt sort of a new framework. Um, of sort of a more simplified and far more flexible solution that can do a lot for you. That is essentially the K2 component in, um, in its shell. There's certainly a lot more that can be done with it. Um, the introductory demo from K2 that is a, that is a learning video, video is over 45 minutes long. They have extensive documentation, community, and, uh, and development. But your best resource is us at uh, Computer Doctors or um, Sipento. So we urge you to talk to us. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, K2 is part of our advanced packaging. Um, we charge a little more to deploy that because there is a certain sort of a, an advanced level of sophistication and really implementation that we have to um, dedicate towards you. But the component's well worth it. It will give your site um, abilities that you would have never thought were possible otherwise.